hi guys so welcome to one of my videos okay so in this video I'm explaining what the engine compartment looks like in the truck where you're gonna be taking your exam okay so over here uh, we have our power steering tank our power steering tank is not cracked or broken original cap is present proper fluid level and there's no leaks okay my clamp is tight and secure not missing any bolts good condition no rust all of my hoses around my engine compartment are tight and secure with clamps okay they're tight and secure with clamps no leaks and all of my hoses are in good condition they're not dry rotted not broken no cuts no splits good condition guys okay if you follow this hose it will take you straight down to your power steering pump which is down there okay your power steering pump is tight and secure has no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks good condition guys most importantly your power steering pump is gear driven okay it's all the way down there you can't really see it so it's gear driven okay and it has no hydraulic leaks and down there you really can't see it either because it's behind the frame down there you have your air compressor your air compressor it's gear driven it should not have any air leaks and it is tank secure to your motor with no missing bolts or nuts good condition guys okay so i'm gonna give a brief explanation here we have our seven steering components okay here we have our steering column. Our steering column cannot have no more than two inches of play and it is tight and secure with no illegal holes or weldings, no rust, no cracks, okay? My steering column is tight and secure to my U-joint. My U-joint is well greased, not missing any bolts, tight and secure to my gearbox. My gearbox is not missing any bolts, not missing any nuts, and most importantly, my gearbox is not leaking any hydraulic fluid, okay? Once you're done talking about that, you have your pitman arm your drag link and your steering knuckle okay steering knuckle pitman arm i mean i'm sorry drag link and pitman arm so once again pitman arm drag link and steering knuckle those are your steering components when you guys are doing your exam you could just explain to the examiner and say well mr examiner all of my steering bars or my steering components or my steering linkage are not missing any castle nuts, not missing any pins, tight and secure, everything is well greased, not cracked or broken, with no illegal holes or weldings, all of my castle nuts are present, and all of my pins are present in good condition. And once you're done talking about that, you're gonna go ahead and talk about your suspension components. So you have your spring mount. Your spring mount is tight and secure to your motor, or I mean, I'm sorry, tight and secure to your frame no illegal holes or weldings not missing any bolts good condition then you have your leaf spring okay your leaf spring is tight and secure with no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks good condition okay your leaf springs are tight and secure to your u-bolts your u-bolts are not missing there's no rust no cracks good condition they're not bent they're not loose they're tight and secure to your axle okay your axle over here is in good conditions it's not bent or crack with no illegal holes or weldings it is in great condition guys not missing any bolts or nuts and over here we have our tie rod our tie rod is tight and secure it's not bent to crack not missing any castle nuts or pins and it is in great conditions with no rust no bends no illegal holes or weldings so that is for your suspension system and we also have our shock observer which is also part of your suspension system our shock observer has no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks not missing any bolts most importantly my shock observer is not leaking any hydraulic fluid okay so once you're done talking about that guys we're gonna go ahead and talk about our brake system okay we have our brake hoses here our brake hoses are not dry rotted not leaking they are tight and secure good condition guys okay they're very tight and secure to your uh, brake chamber not missing any clamps not missing any uh, zip tags or anything that's keeping your uh brake hoses together so once again your brake hoses are tight and secure no cuts no leaks no splits not dry rotted no leaks of any kinds okay and they are tight and secure to your single brake chamber remember your single brake chamber is tight and secure no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks are present on my brake chamber my clamp on my brake chamber is tight and secure with no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks and on the other end my clamp has a bolt my bolt is tight and secure not missing or broken and inside of the brake chamber i have a seal that's keeping my brake chamber uh in good conditions without leaking any air 
The seal is tight and secure with no oligo holes or weldings. It is in great condition, my overall brake chamber, okay? Then we're gonna talk about our push rod and our slack adjuster. Our push rod and our slack adjuster should not have no more than one inch of play when the brakes are released and no missing bolts or nuts and well grease, okay? From there on, inside your wheel, you're gonna go ahead and talk about your, uh, you're gonna go ahead and talk about your brake drum and your brake shoe. Your brake drum cannot have no illegal holes or weldings, no rust, no cracks, good condition. And your brake shoe itself should be tight and secure with no illegal holes or weldings either. Most importantly, your brake shoe cannot have no less than one quarter of an inch of thickness, guys, okay? So my brake drum and my brake shoe should not have no debris, no oil, no grease between your brake drum and your brake shoe. All right, guys? So once you guys are done talking about all of those components, I am going to show you that on the other side of the engine, okay, on the other side of the engine, we have uh, just three components, really to be three or four components. We have our water reservoir, okay? Our water reservoir is tight and secure, not cracked or broken. All of my hoses are in good condition, not dry rotted, not leaking and my original cap is present okay so my original cap is present proper level and there's no leaks okay so if you follow this hose it'll take you straight down here to your water pump somewhere down here in this uh, section so our water pump it's belt driven okay our belt should not have no more than three quarter inches of play in the water pump and most importantly um my water pump is not leaking it's not loose okay the seal inside is not broken my water pump is not leaking any water at all all right then over here on this side we have the alternator my alternator is tight and secure to my motor has no illegal holes or weldings most importantly my alternator um doesn't have any loose wires and last but not least our alternator is belt driven my belt cannot be loose it is tight and secure not dry rotted not broken or cracked and it should not have no more than three quarter inches of play all right so once you guys are done talking about that you're going to talk about your exhaust system your exhaust system cannot have no illegal holes or weldings no rust no cracks good condition guys okay so remember on the passenger side of the truck for your exam you have your water reservoir your alternator your water pump and um your exhaust system all right those are the key things you want to remember that are a little different from the truck over there where you're taking your uh classes all right so I do appreciate you guys taking your time and watching my videos. Give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much.